So this is the part three of three of the uh, Volcera QR X350 Pro. Uh, this is my second flight. Uh, finally, the weather is uh, okay here in the West Fields in Iceland, so uh, I can fly fly outside. Now there's a bit of snow still, but uh, it's uh, going shortly. Uh, this time I'm flying uh, manual, totally manual. Now, as as you can see, when I use the rudder to the right, it af it affects the yaw roll of the gimbal. Um, somebody on on RC groups told me that this was uh, supposed to be something you can fix on the gimbal. Uh, I still have to find that find that setting, but uh, hopefully I can fix it. It's a little bit annoying when the uh, when the gimbal uh, rolls to the left or to the right, depending on how you use the rudder. Now, the uh, quadcopter is behaving quite nicely in manual mode. Uh, no apparent uh, problems. It's very stable. The camera is. Uh, it doesn't have any any. Uh, corruption or, or, or problems it's, it's a very nice video so that's that's fine mm, all in all I would I would rate this uh, quadcopter I would give it four out of five um, you know it's it's uh, it's behaving very nice but I've had some setup problems especially with the gimbal so um, I would say that uh, if they can fix that uh, I'd be extremely happy with this motor now, uh, what I tried uh, next was uh, the GPS hold. Uh, I fly it up in, uh, in I take off in, in manual mode. And uh, the takeoff is nice, it's a very narrow space I'm taking off from, but, but no problems. And uh, now I'm switching to GPS hold. Uh, immediately when the, uh, the GPS hold is on, it's, it's very stable. It's uh, it's completely rooted in the same spot. It uh, it moves slightly because of the wind, uh, but uh, it it's, uh, it it stays in maybe a, a one square meter area. It doesn't go outside that. Now I'm trying to fly it in the GPS hold. It's uh, it's a little bit something that you have to get used to. It uh, it always wants to correct itself, so. Uh, but uh, it's very stable. Now I'm hands off, just testing the gimbal. Uh, this is the tilt of the gimbal. Now I'm looking directly down with the camera. Everything seems to be in order there. You know, the, uh, the 170 uh, lens of the, uh, the GoPro is, of course, gives you this fisheye look. But uh, I. Uh, I would say that um, if if you uh, if you want a stable platform for for videoing, this is an excellent quadcopter. I've had I had no problems in the flight, absolutely none whatsoever, with the machine itself or or the GPS or or anything like that. It it is worth mentioning that if you um, if you switch from GPS hold to uh, manual, uh, the quadcopter will drop uh, a little bit in height, so it's 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 uh, something you don't want to do very close to the ground. It it falls down, uh, and you have to have to uh, adjust the uh, the throttle immediately. So that's something to be aware of. Uh, but as soon as you figure that out, it, it's not a problem. But uh, as you can see here, I'm 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 videoing myself, and uh, uh, there's minimal control you have to have uh, once you once you set up the uh, the quad. Uh, you can play around with the camera angles, tilt and roll, and uh, the rudder control. That's every, everything seems to be in order there. So uh, I would say. Uh, I'm not. I'm not ready to test the uh, return to home button yet. Not with this much snow in the area. 
so I'm gonna exclude that from this video. There are plenty of videos on the internet where you can see the return to home function. Um, as I said, there's too much snow in my area still for me to test it. Uh, I would not feel comfortable because I know it's um, it's not extremely accurate. It, it, it maybe it's a two or three square meter area it lands on on average. So um, that's an experiment I will wait with until into the summer. But uh, as I said, this is uh, this is my uh, third part of of the review of the Walkera QR X350 Pro and uh, as I said I would give it 4 out of 5 uh, the only reason I would not give it 5 out of 5 is, is the gimbal it's the set of problems with the gimbal um, it, um, it should be out of the box but it, it isn't uh, in my case anyway I had to uh, work on it and to um, to adjust the PAM settings on the controller, um, but that's the uh, that's the only thing that I found uh, not perfect with this quadcopter. Definitely worth the buy. It's cheap and uh, it's uh, it's delivering extremely well in my case, so I'm happy with it. Uh, it also worth mentioning when you land it in GPS hold, it's a it's a, it's a little bit tricky. It was a little bit uh, of a rough landing. Uh, it wants to bounce up again, like it did there. But um, so you have to be aware of that. So thank you.